Welcome, everyone, to the home of the Charlotte 49ers, Jerry Richardson Stadium, and the fans have been filling this one up in anticipation of this clash. Today's matchup, a battle in the old North State, a contest between a pair of teams from the state of North Carolina, as we'll see a squad from the AAC, the East Carolina Pirates, squaring off with another team from the AAC, the Charlotte 49ers. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Pirates will kick it away first. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. The 49ers return man hardly helped out the offense with that one. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available, but if you're not playing with one arm behind your back, you've got all guns blazing. Six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll give it to the back. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Yeah, and how about this offense? A little counter, a little misdirection. Get everybody's eyes going one direction. They go back the other way. Nice execution by the offense to make the big running play down the field. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. The give out of the gun. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yardage situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. On third and short, the power run here. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And that's a nice stop by this defense. Nice job stopping the run, setting up fourth and inches. Listen, this is a no-brainer. If I can't get inches, I don't deserve to win. I I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play, whether it's quarterback sneak, fullback dive, whatever it is that we do great, and I'm going to get my inches. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Pirates offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Line gets set, first down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Found just enough running room, he picks up four to the 15. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Garcia wants to throw. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Man, those are frustrating because you know you're supposed to catch that. You're supposed to secure it. It's going to happen, but it's just frustrating for those receivers. Just tap the chest. My bad, dog. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the marker, it's Kelly. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with a first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. 
I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. From the gun, the ground game. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. And you want to run the football. That's okay. You'll take some of these. But if they start to add up down the road, obviously, you might want to think about airing it out a little bit. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Kelly. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Great job, too, by the QB there, holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. Takes the handoff. It's Harris. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Solid pick up a four on first down at second and six. They'll leave it with him. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Third and short coming here right from the midfield stripe. Gives it to the back on the draw. Really tough run there. He got four. That'll leave him a yard short on fourth down. And the Pirates decide to punt it away. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and now think they'll mark it right around the 25. The lone back's got it. Trucks through the defender. Finds that crease, and he's got four after the 29. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Brown will throw it. Now adjusting. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. A third down try for the offense. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. The 49ers getting set on first and 10. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. He'll try to pop the draw. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. 
And oftentimes running backs love drop plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass, the quarterback selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D line's rushed way upfield, and now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And how frustrating is that? You're that running back. Where were you supposed to go? There was absolutely no lane for him on that play. And the 49ers will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Fair catch called for and made. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Man, David, that last drive, an exercise in frustration, just couldn't pay it off for the score. Yeah, and I think this defense is riding the bend, but don't break philosophy. Don't give up explosive plays. And this offense, Jesse, has to find a way to manufacture some big plays and some scoring opportunities. Man, I don't know if they're going to win, David, if they have to keep driving 8, 10, 12 plays. You're right. You've got to find chunk plays somewhere. So identify the guys that can score touchdowns and get them the ball. Quarterback on the keeper. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Facing a third down is short from the 26. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And he needed one yard, and he didn't get it. The defense won the battle up front. Well, it's decision time now for the head coach. You probably like the play call. Third down, you're running the ball, thinking you're going to get it in your own end. You don't. Now what do you do? The Pirates line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Looking left. Got his man. Gets away from one. He's got space. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. They'll go to the ground. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Fires left. Picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Not only a great play, but tremendous discipline by this sophomore to make the pick. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. Garcia to pass. Fires to the tight end. At midfield, he's got room. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And the Pirates will hustle to the line. Yeah. 
They go to the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, the defense was in there in such a hurry. They didn't even let that draw develop. Got to him so quick. You know, the draw play has to look like a pass and not look like you're faking a pass. And I think there, uh, it was pretty evident they were trying to run the draw. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. No movement from the field goal unit. The offense is out there to try to keep this drive alive on fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. The Pirates pick up the first down. They give you four downs for a reason, and this offense decides to use every one of them. Hey, if I had a back like that and I had this offensive line, man, I would do it too. It, I wouldn't even think twice about it. Roll the dice, give your guys an opportunity to go make a play, and they do. And the Pirates will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And they've moved closer and closer, and still they need two yards, third and goal. Trying to barge their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, East Carolina. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. They'll try the run. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see, nowadays, they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, it's going to be hard to stop. It's first and 10 from the 31. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Olsen. Really nice job creating his own space, running with attitude. He's up to the 37-yard line. Really good offenses are able to attack short. You've got to be able to attack the whole field to make you honor that underneath part, then the intermediate part, and then you take shots down the field. This will loosen up some shots for later in the game. He leaves it with the back. Get 
gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You've got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you've got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And this offense is built behind this guy. I mean, a guy that you can hand the football to consistently and expect positive yards all day long, all game long. Now he's over 100 yards on the day. First down for this offense. He wants to throw. He'll take a shot. And that one's going to be knocked down incomplete, and we have knocked out the first quarter. Guys, East Carolina carries the lead into the quarter break. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. On the option. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Brown wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. Touchdown, Charlotte. Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. Wait, can, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. One, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays, or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. Lining up to add another. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards, and they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bond. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Now on first down from the 30. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed behind the line. It's Harris. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry. They're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss. He can take it to the house. Garcia wants to throw. He makes the connection. Tackled immediately after the catch. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. 
Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding them. Nice catch. The Pirates are rolling down the field. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Soft spot in the middle. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. And the Pirates come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating the loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. Wants to throw on second down. Makes the grab. It's Harris. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. I know everyone's yelling like you didn't get the first down. We need more yards. But if you think about it, nice short completion sets up a third down. And guess what? Nowadays, fourth down, green light. We're going to go for it anyways. Now facing a third and long. Garcia to pass. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Never really got that return cranking, but the offense is set up at the 30. Timing has to be so good. When you're throwing at his own defense over the middle of the field, the ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take it. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. On second down, wants to throw it quickly to the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Looking to throw for it. With the catch, it's Olsen. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. They go to the ground. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Brown will throw it. Shoots it to the left. Wide open downfield. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. Man, if I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Here comes the offense on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. The short hands. It's Clemens. He'll get it all the way down to the eight-yard line, and the defense is feeling the heat. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. The 49ers trying to cash it in on first and goal. He caught it! 
And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. They moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. They'll run it left, looking for the end zone here. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, 49ers. It gets closer and closer to the end zone right here. You know what's coming as a defense. The offense has to be physical, and they were. And the back knew exactly what he had to get to to get six. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. Garcia wants to throw. Oh, and he just dropped it so close to his second interception of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. All right, QB, I got to trust you, man. You already threw one pick. Now that one probably should have picked. You got to give me a reason to feel confident I can drop back and let you throw the football again, or else this lease maybe gets a little bit short. Maybe we start warming up the righty in the bullpen. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Wants to throw on third. Quickly out to the tight end. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Power football with the run. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They go right back to him. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll try to run for it. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. The Pirates will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. They took their time out of the gate, but now starting to try to take control of this game on offense here in the second quarter, Jesse. Yeah, and they're playing good complementary football up to this point, but this is a huge opportunity, David, for them to really create some momentum. Well, and the defense did such a good job keeping them in the game early. Now holding down their end. Now get the offense rolling, put up some points on the scoreboard, and then you could really get dangerous in this ballgame. Brown wants to pass. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep.
This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Pressure coming. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Yeah, and the defensive lineman, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the 49ers will send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They'll need to get the ball to the 34 to convert this third down. Garcia to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Slams it ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, ECU! This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the boulevard. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. Using his legs, it's Norton. Now they've got breathing room. Got six all the way out to the 20. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Looking to take a shot. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. The 49ers will punt it away on fourth down. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. 
East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. Looking to the big tight end. He's got an open man. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And the Pirates moving quickly to the line. We'll take a quick break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. Garcia wants to throw. He finds his man. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And quarterback receiver on the same page. Nice job seeing the zone, understanding the drag route concept. Easy pitch, easy catch. The Pirates looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. He wants to throw here on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Kelly. Tackled after picking up the first down. And you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fellow, you put him in the slot, try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. And the Pirates have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and he just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. This offense has a second down play. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Slings it downfield. He caught it. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. The Pirates are threatening on first and goal. Snap in the shotgun. He's got it. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. He'll try to power it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Pirates. And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the middle. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Man, he was open. He had an opportunity. He just got to look that thing. A lot of times guys are catching it, and as they're catching it, you see their heads start to turn to try to think about getting upfield, and they just lose that concentration for a second. A little missed opportunity there for this offense. Brown will throw it. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Good. Wide open. Big play opportunity. Hits him right between the numbers. you got to make that play. Those are one of those where I, I tap my helmet like, dude, that, that was me. That was on me. My bad. Give me another opportunity later on. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. 
Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. And the 49ers will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the wide out. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On second down, they'll take to the air. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down in bounds. They want to throw it. Unleashes it on the run. Catch and stride inside the 15. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Charlotte. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground-and-pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside Jerry Richardson Stadium. The 49ers will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. the deflection missed a great chance to force the turnover instead it'll be second down I'll tell you what that was a lightning fast decision you can tell he knew what he wanted to do right away makes the decision but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted to put that thing i know that that incompletion leads to second down and 10. garcia to pass Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Great recognition by the defense on that pass play. They knew exactly who the quarterback was going to, and they got there quick. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Time to take a shot. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. And the Pirates send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. Give to the running back. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. Caught over the middle. It's Olsen. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. This dude is putting in work out of the slot, and he is just wearing out this defense. Man, you see it, Reese, in football. They just, these slot guys are so quick, so athletic. You back them up off the football so you can't get hands on them, and you just find ways to continue to get him the football. He's making plays, so I'm going to continue to throw it his way. They worked that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. First down, it's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Brown wants to pass. Fires to the big fella. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes. And oh, and it's picked off. Threw it right into the teeth of double coverage. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. Off play action on first down. He's going to let it go. Snags it down the right side. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Second and five. Now they'll run the draw. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. They started this drive with a big play, but now they need a conversion to keep it alive on third down. Garcia wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Really nice job by the defense. Playing aggressive. Understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the catch. He's got enough. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. You talk about taking the wind out of a crowd. A fourth down conversion will do that. Yeah, they were jacked up in here. Excited. The fans get loud, rush the passer. And how about the conversion? The big fourth down conversion here in the third quarter to give yourself some life in a tight ball game.
Using his legs, it's Harris. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. The Pirates are in the red zone. Going to the run, it's Harris. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On the option. Now the pitch. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Purple Pirates! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. An 84-yard drive there. And they finished it off with a 14-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. They'll run play action. Throws to the tight end. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. You know, it's hard enough just to catch passes in college football, but to do it while also being cognizant of where you are in the field and making sure you get a foot down inbounds, that's really impressive. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Here's the handoff. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Brown will throw it. Finds his tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Trying to escape and get it himself. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick them up and put them down, and I'm faster than most of your other guys, too, so good luck stopping him. The give to the tailback. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Looking to scramble. Going to try to get it himself. 
He found a little opening and got loose. They couldn't stop him in the backfield, so a solid pick up there. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative, and that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield, nothing there, so instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. They're bringing heat. A strike downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. And the 49ers will line it up on first and 10. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. With the catch, it's Olsen. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. When you run the football and then throw in the play action, it's such a tricky thing for the defense. Do I play run? Do I come up fast? It opens those holes right behind the linebackers and between the safeties to make the passing game just a little bit easier. First and goal and a great opportunity to slice into this lead. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Now it's second and goal. They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal-to-go situations, Palmer. you got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. And this one shouldn't be too taxing. A 23-yard try. He got it. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. Looking down the middle. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, it was a good throw, it was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. Now on second down after the incompletion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. Goodness, that is the way you blow up a play quick, fast, and in a hurry. Hair on fire caused a wreck that had to be a blown assignment. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. Garcia to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. 
Man, this quarterback has been dialed in all game long. He's making outstanding decisions, and he's been so accurate throwing the football. He's now got over 350 passing yards. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Heaves it deep. And that one's incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. There's an example of what happens when the quarterback doesn't have a chance to set his feet. The pressure just forced him to have to work off schedule a little bit. And I think because of that, wasn't able to be as accurate as he wanted to be. And now on second down for this offense. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And the Pirates want to crank the tempo. Trying to find his man on first down. Getting some heat. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. The incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. The Pirates will snap it on first and 10. It's a draw. Able to pick up a couple down to the 27. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Garcia wants to throw. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end and he add the answer to the test right there. Snagged on the outside, it's right. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. He's out on that play. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, they're just going to need more push up front. There was nowhere for that running back to go. The offensive line got moved right back into his lap, and as a result, they lose yards on that play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets rid of it. Makes the catch. It's Kelly. Touchdown, East Carolina! And they take it in for six more points. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see a move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? You got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the run from inside his own five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. You just got to have better concentration if you're the wide receiver. I know it feels like a routine completion. You still got to get two hands on the ball and look it in. That's a bad drop. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. They try to pop a run on the draw. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. The 49ers will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He's got great speed. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Found a little running room, and they get him stopped after a pickup of six to the 32. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to get the first through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. And the Pirates will snap it on first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside gift. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of that. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. Touchdown, ECU! And the route is on. It's another good decision by the quarterback. You've got to be impressed here. On that one, he finds his tight end. But all game long, whether it's receivers or running backs or tight ends, wherever the best one-on-one -on -one matchup has been, he's been able to take advantage of it, and that's why they've been able to score so many points. Lining up for the PAT.
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Can hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They'll go back to the air on second down. Almost had the pick there. Would have been his second of the game. Instead, it brings up third down. Well, they take a shot down the field. It's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. Brown wants to pass. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they fight. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And that's a really good job by the defense. Understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do. And they stamp this game. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. On the move, it's Harris. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll run it from the gun. Plows ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Now on third down after that run. The snap sets up to throw. Grabs it in the middle. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. The Pirates will have it first and ten. Hand off from the gun. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. That is just demoralizing if you're on defense, right? You're down in the game. It's the fourth quarter. You know you need to get a stop. And you know you, they're going to run the ball, but you can't do anything about it. And the Pirates have this offense rolling. They move the tight end all over. They're going to go right back to him on first down. They get him on the ground. He picked up about four yards, and the ball spotted at the 10. And he's done everything for this offense today, running the football so much so that he's now got 98 yards rushing. We're in the fourth quarter. One more carry, and this guy could eclipse the 100-yard mark. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for space. It's Harris. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line.
Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Garcia to pass. Makes the catch. And he was straining for the goal line, but the defense stopped him short. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. The Pirates have it with a first and goal. Trying to pound it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, and you see the sense of urgency now going up, right, David, on defense here, creating a negative play with their backs up against the wall. Everybody's selling out to stop the run. Nice job being aggressive by this defense. And the D deny them on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. Touchdown, Pirates! And the punishment has been extended. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A pretty short drive there, covering 38 yards. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Bringing it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Charlotte has the ball back. The 49ers offense will return to the field. Quick completion on the out. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Got like that big, reliable security blanket. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it catch it and give me some positive yards they came out humming on this drive and now it's first down from the 36 Brown will throw it he's right on target and the defense makes the immediate tackle but he has enough for the first down curl route seems simple but when you time it like that so it's right on him Man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help your quarterback out. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. Let's see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 48. Looking to throw it again. Right down the middle. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? He'll work his way down to the 28. Well, the tight end's trying to work the middle of the field. Nobody even close to him in coverage. It's not going to get any easier than that for the quarterback. That's an easy first down. And the 49ers have it with a first and 10. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They pull him down after a four-yard gain down to the 24. Solid pick up a four on first down. It's second and six. Trying play action. Caught in the backfield. It's Clemens. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover. And they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. 
Here they come up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. Fires deep for the end zone. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. The ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. He's going to take off. Got all he needed for the first down, and then he gets down on the slide. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to they put up the big stats, but... When nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. The 49ers trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Yeah, and a great job by the offensive line, seeing the blitz, picking it up, and then it's on the running back. Running back finds the hole, gets a little bit of a crease, makes a nice run out. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. It's always fun to watch offensive creativity in the red zone. Like, how are you going to get some space for your guy? They try the toss, get him out wide, maybe get him some space. The defense was ready. Nice job falling forward, getting at least a little bit on the play. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Charlotte. Nice play there by the offense, but still a ton of ground to make up. Yeah, this one's pretty much over, but listen, put that exclamation point on. Finish the way you want to finish. Make sure your offense keeps that momentum going. It can build throughout the season. to attempt the try. Splits the uprights. They put together an 81-yard drive, and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Bond. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Leaves it with the back. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. Offenses ice football games in the fourth quarter by running the football, and that's what these guys are trying to do right now, right? We're going to bleed the clock. We're going to stay on the field. It doesn't matter if the defense knows we're running it. They cannot stop us, and they're looking pretty impressive right now doing it. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Still running at the 40. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. And obviously this offense has had their way getting the huge lead. And now when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. D coordinators down the road that have to play this offense, man, they're going to have nightmares because this unit has so much speed and so much skill at running back, receiver, tight end, the quarterback making good decisions. It is so tough trying to stop them and prevent explosive plays. Picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? 
We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Now on third down for this offense. Garcia wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. And the defense gets the big third down stop, creates some momentum. Hey, I don't know if they're going to go for it on fourth down, but the defense is continuing to fight, continuing to hustle, continue to fly around. Like, these are positive signs from a group that you, want, you know needs to continue to grow, needs to continue to build, needs to continue to get better. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Charlotte will send the offense back onto the field. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film, but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Unloads it left. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Catch in the middle, it's Weber. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious quarterback has been really good today has been on top of it seeing things really really well that pass right there put him over the 300 yard mark that's a pretty good day wants to throw on first down looking left tip ball put it up for grabs and i thought he had it but somehow it slithered through his fingers and this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. Brown wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. Tosses it incomplete. I'll tell you what, you could tell the defense knew exactly what they were doing. They were dialed in, took away the primary target. And then it's on you as an offense. Now I gotta adjust. I gotta do something different to what they're doing. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Finds his man. It's Weber. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. And the 49ers with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. That's a ball that this offense should be able to complete. They had the coverage they wanted. Receiver ran on the route. Just an inaccurate throw by the quarterback. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Unleashes one deep. And he's got it! Touchdown, Niners! 
and a nice touchdown continuing to fight continuing to play this one it, it's pretty much over down multiple possessions this late in the football game it, it would take a miracle but nice job by this offense continuing to fight push the ball down the field make plays PAT unit on the field. Smashes it through for the PAT. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. 